uh, digital technology is very important to me in my job. In fact, I think my job would be almost impossible without it. Um, we have to model a power and propulsion system um, in its entirety in order to deliver to the customer an understanding of what that propulsion system is in terms of its thrust, uh, how much fuel it burns, how heavy it is, what the geometry of the, the power and propulsion system is, how big it is. And that takes a lot of tools, a lot of methods, um, and integrating all of these together is, is, is really important. And we can only do that with digital technology. To help me do my job, I use an automated digital design system. This system uh, integrates subsystem and system level tools such that we can design an overall power and propulsion system and have very good understanding of the impact of that design at the system level uh, that it has on subsystems and the impact that the subsystems have on the overall system level. And in such a way, we uh, integrate the entire engine and power and propulsion system together and converge an overall solution. So we use the automated digital design tool in order to do engine designs or power and propulsion system designs, which we then can pass to the airframer. We also use it for studying the design space of the power and propulsion system. And this gives us a thorough understanding of the design space and choices you make at the, at the requirements level and the impact that can have on the power and propulsion system as a whole. The automated digital design system benefits our customer in a number of ways. Um, I think to explain these uh, more thoroughly it's better to step back uh, to understand how we used to do, used to do this. Um, traditionally, we would have designed an engine at the system level. The engine performance would have been understood, um, but assumptions would have to be made of the sus subsystem designs that, that meet the engine requirements. That engine data set the performance of the engine would then be passed to subsystem teams to, for them to design their components. And their component designs would then be fed back up to a system level and integrated at that level. This was uh, is an iterative process and it takes a considerable amount of time for a single design iteration. We're talking four to six months. Um, the automated digital design system uh, speeds this process up considerably and uh, in fact I can produce the design of an engine within an hour going through the same process that would have taken four to six months. Now you have to be careful because you still have to make an achievable design of an engine and this is where the tool really is really powerful. It enables the collaboration of all of those subsystem, tool, uh, subsystem teams in a single tool set so that we can all talk the same language and we can all use the same tool to design the engine, them at a subsystem level, me at a complete system level. So it enables that collaboration and it enables us to, to determine what is the best design at an overall engine level much more quickly than going through a four to six month process every time we want to make a change. Another benefit to the customer is that we have uh, integrated um, an aircraft design tool within the automated design system. This allows us to understand the impact that we are having at a, a full airframe level in terms of maximum takeoff weight of the aircraft or the maximum mark number that the aircraft could achieve.